Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Weekly. I'm Matt Henry. And I'm Joseph Richards, and this is a show of some kind where things will happen, so don't get your hopes up. Oh, we're gonna go to the news of the week no, right away. Whoa, whoa, no, not yet. Personal moment first. Oh, okay, well, just just tell me when then. You alright, Matt? Yeah, 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 no, I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Just take it easy, have some water, you know? I don't blame the show being bad at... Matt, what are you, you're trembling. What are you so afraid of? Is it... Is it these Halloween decorations? They're not even facing you, man. They're not that scary. No, man. no, it's, it's 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 the fourth episode, right? So. What, you're some kind of tetraphobic or what? No, it's not that. It's that in Japanese culture, four means death, right? So I'm afraid someone's gonna die. Okay. I, I and it's, it's probably gonna be Ryan. Okay, I don't think you need to worry about that. That's just a superstition. Um, this episode is no different from any other. Just because it's our fourth, it's going to be fine. Yeah, well, you know, that's what they say. They say that all the time, right? Well, someone's probably going to die, and it's probably going to end up being Ryan, and it's just not worth it, you know? In Japanese culture, they, you know, they don't even have a fourth floor, Joseph, okay? They don't even have a fourth floor. They skip it entirely, right? Why do you think that is? Okay, because but, people die. Okay, but Matt, we are not in Asia. We're in North America. We're not in Japan. It doesn't affect us here. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't affect... Right, you know how many Japanese video games I play, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with some Japanese juju and corrupt my save files over that. No, it's not worth it, man. But wait, wait, wait. What if... Okay, so it's episode four, right? What if we just call it episode five? We call it episode five, no. and then the audience will be cool with it. Why wouldn't they be? No, and no, then, no. you know, that everyone's fine. Ryan will be fine. No, no, no. We're not going to... Okay, Matt, we're not going to skip four. This is our fourth episode. It doesn't matter what, what we call it. And if we call it five, it's going to confuse everything. Listen, 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 listen. Matt, nothing bad is going to happen on this show. Okay? Oh. We're perfectly fine. No, nothing bad happens on this show. There's no, there's no bad luck that's gonna affect us. Ryan is gonna be fine. We're all gonna be just. <laughs> News of the week. Government employee and wife to the president, Michelle Obama, announced on her Twitter account this week that updates to her Twitter would be limited due to Congress's failure to pass legislation to fund the government. In other words, your tax money is financing Michelle Obama's ability to update her Twitter page. And now if that's not a joke, then I don't know what is. Revenge porn is now a crime in California. This is sad news for the revenge porn industry. Okay, the government shutdown is really affecting small businesses. Thankfully though, the have sex with a pizza while getting a blowjob porn industry is booming. You can't stop our cheesy freedom of love and expression, Congress. Not this time. Earlier this week, on what must have been opposite day, a man in Ohio was fined $25 for animal cruelty after tying his dog to a tree for four years, during which time the dog was starved, infected, and physically abused to the point of blood just running from his body due to the sheer number of fleas consuming his flesh, literally eating him alive. Meanwhile, in New York, a man by the name of Casey Neistat was fined $50 for riding his bike outside of the designated bike lanes as New York cracks down on its ticketing of cyclists. Torture your pets for four years, that's 25 bucks. Help conserve energy, maintain your health, and avoid situations like this. $50. Priorities. Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer says that Congress is bullying the American people. Stating, and I quote, I'm from Brooklyn, and I know that if you give a bully what they want, they just want more. Yeah? Well, you give a Boston bully what they want, and they'll leave you alone. They'll leave you alone, all right, cold and alone, sitting next to the lunch lady. Okay? Yeah, but you know what? I'll have the last laugh, Boston. I'll have the last laugh. That's our news for the week, and now I'd like to defer to Matt for a new segment here on Friday Night Weekly. Thank you, Joseph. Guys, I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna bring out my spiritual advisor, Matt Mass. Now, I've had a rough day. You know, episode five is, is a little bit a little bit scarier than I expected, but this guy that's gonna come out, he is the most enlightening and inspirational man I've ever known. So I'm not gonna sit here and talk your ear off about it. You're gonna find out for yourself. Let's bring him on the show. Come on out, Matt Mast. <laughs> How is Matt? How are we doing today? I'm, hey, I'm doing good, Matt. You know, Excellent. I really could use uh, some wisdom laid on me. At this Dreams time. are like my dead dog, Rover. Buried in my backyard is God to shit it on me. Those are my dreams. Okay, okay, right, right. So you're saying that, um, that that your dreams are like a dead dog that's been decomposed into the earth, and then from that it will sprout new life in fertilization, and then fuck maybe... that one. Why would I would just say that. That's not what I said. Okay. I said my dreams are like my dead dog, Rover, buried in my backyard. Okay. This guy shit on me. Okay. Those are my words. Do not touch them. 
Okay. Uh, I, uh, I could make that inspirational, maybe. Sure. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Matt. Thanks, I, thanks, feel Matt. Uh, I, I feel better. I know I feel better. You were right on with that one. Okay. All right, now typically this is where we would bring out Ruben Glazer, and we are going to do that, but of course he did not do a report this week. He emailed us early on saying that he would not be doing any work for us this week, uh, but he would show up, I guess. Sure. Yeah, here he is. So we thought we'd give him a chance to explain himself. Uh, so come on out, Ruben Glazer. Ruben. Hi. Um, so, so you got, you the, got the email? You got the email? Yes. Right. Thankfully. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I'm on furlough, so it's actually a little even weird just being here, you know. I'm surprised you two are doing this as, you know, government employees. It's like, you could go to prison for this, you know, you're not supposed to be working. It's just, just I, for, it's for fun. I haven't been working. You don't think I'm happy about it either. I've just been sitting at home drinking schlitz. Sure, Ruben, you know? but now let me inform you that, that we are not government employees doing this at all. Not okay, at all. Well, I mean, uh, do you know what a Venn diagram is? Sure. Yeah, okay, well, I want you to think of it this way. There's like government right here, you know. Right. Just think of this circle. Okay. We make goofs and jokes about the government quite, con you know, consistently, right? Sure. And so then there's yeah. this circle, which includes uh, Zeph, Matt, and me. You know, and there's an overlap in the center. And you know what it says right there? It says prison. So we're not supposed to be working. All right? But, <laughs> look, this has been a big cut to my pay. So I'm not, I'm really unhappy There's no pay this. involved in this. Mm -hmm. We don't have any. Okay, you know, nope. I just, nothing I don't know what like you that. want that from me. That doesn't involve us at all, so. Uh, uh, government shutdown. Even uh, how, how are we on time? <laughs> we're, we're, we don't have enough time for this. All right, we got to move on here. Okay. Um, it's uh, time to get to... The real story of the week here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a roundtable discussion yeah. Huge about news this week. the I, biggest news of the week. Huge news Can I leave this week? or do you need to? No, just, just, why don't you stick around for this? We're going to be discussing right. the conclusion of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is officially over. Uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. I mean, that's the last time we're ever going to be able to watch a new episode of that show. That's it. One of the greatest yeah. of all time. We'll never see it. It's been a great journey, yeah. and there's been lots of great characters that on the way. Right. So why don't we start out by asking, what were all of our favorite roles and performances okay. on the show? <laughs> Everyone says, like, oh, I'm Team Hank. I'm Team Walt. You know, Some it's a big say thing. say I'm Team Jesse. <laughs> right, right, exactly. There's a lot of teams Every to be team. had, so what team are you guys? That's, that's I was certainly on a team, so, but yeah, I don't want us to influence each other's opinions. So why don't we do it on three? On what three? team were you on? On three. Okay. One, two, three. Team, team Gomez. Gomez. Oh, team Gomez. Team Gomez all around. I stand with Gomi. Gomi is yeah, my homie. We all stand with Gomi. Gomez here. or go home. Yeah, right. That's what I said. <laughs> great, um, great. Basically, I just want to say about Breaking Bad. It, it's been a very emotional journey for me. I, I, the finale kind of brought a tear to my eye, and it's really ushered in the you know transition between cinema and theaters and movie houses to cinema in your own living room with popcorn right, that absolutely. you made yourself. Yeah, it's absolutely. a real. Yeah. It, it's 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 you know, incredible. I'll tell I mean, my children about this show. Right? Yeah, you know, An institution. It, Breaking Bad really did. It sets the standard for what's acceptable Gold TV standard. today now, and I don't think it's going to change. I think that's just the way no, the TV yeah. will be. I agree. agree, and in fact, I would even have to give Breaking Bad credit for even me starting meth in the first place. <laughs> my, that's like a, a joke. Correct. So like, that was a little bit that you wrote. Like okay. a funny, like, oh, I do meth. No, no like I'm killing myself. Okay, guys, let's not get hung up on Okay, well, so you're just actually, a hobby you put that stuff mine. in your I mean, body, that's not, really? Really, Joseph? That's not, is that's it made nice. in a lab? Is it made in an RV? I did had, Todd make it? I had it? a feeling. Okay. I wouldn't worry about that. I just want you off the blue okay. stuff. Okay, what did you guys like about season five, Breaking Bad? Yeah, let's just segue into a happy well, conversation. You know, okay. I, I personally um, liked... Uh, season five more than I like it when my friends do meth. Okay, season five. What did you guys okay. like right. about that? Okay, all right. Off the top series. of my head, I gotta say I was surprised when they brought him on, but Matt Damon on on the show. You know, he he, yeah. he obviously you know he brought his acting chops that he's known you know, for. You know, he, he's it's a reliable really... actor. It was really great seeing Matt right. Damon on this show. A lot of people, right. a lot of people think that Jesse Plemons. You're thinking of Meth Damon. Often he's called Meth Damon. You know, it's always meth with you. Always meth with you. All you've been talking about. I just, okay. you know, I just. Matt, what are you? Is I'm not. We're not mad at you. We're not no, upset with you. We're just on, worried about you. Come on, Rich. Friendship full of trust. Yeah, this is all falling apart. We're, we're, we love you. We're What's friends. What's going on? Really... Okay. Right, uh, Joseph, okay. I. I, I... Um, I know you're probably wondering why I brought this old man on our show, mm -hmm. and um, it's because we're worried about you because you obviously have a problem. So this is my counselor, Rick, and. He's gonna help you um, 
to you can take control of your demons <laughs> a little bit. Joseph, I'm, I'm here to help you. I've helped Max over there several times. Um, but we know we, we just have to get you off the, this meth shit. It's got to go. Most of my patients like to sit on my knee. It helps them. You should sit on his knee. He means well. You should sit on my knee, Joseph. I don't. Joseph, I'm not. you should really sit on my knee. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Someone's dying, my lord! Dreams are like my dead dog, Rover. Buried in my backyard as God just shitted on me. Those are my dreams. Someone's dying, my lord! Kumbaya! Oh, lord! Kumbaya! Team Gomez.